Hey everybody, Tim here, and uh, <clears throat> today I'm going to uh, just kind of go over the evolution of my knife collection. That started, oh wow, well over a decade ago. Um, it started slowly and then it moved on. So if you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, I'd appreciate it. And uh, you know, comment if you have any comments you want to give. Thanks. So first, this was the first knife that kind of started it off. This was a, a buck knife that my brother gave me for his wedding. He gave each groomsman a, a buck knife. Oh, you can see this one I've had for a while. The clip kind of came apart on me. Um, and I carried this for a long time because I thought, you know, well, this is it, right? Like, this really isn't, you know, it's a nice looking knife, but for what you get now, this is not the greatest. Um, but it was the, like the buck nobleman, I believe. So then, you know, I started thinking, okay, well, I want something else, something smaller, something, you know, that's maybe it's a little too big. So I got this little <laughs> Spyderco bug, which was a great little pocket knife and, you know, kind of weighty and just kind of there. And so that was kind of the beginnings. Um, you know, of course, you always have your Swiss Army knives. And, you know, then I, I, I had a couple of tinkers here and there and junk drawers and stuff, you know. But uh, then I picked up this guy, and I said, oh, that's that's kind of a nice little Swiss Army knife. A couple blades, nothing threatening, easy to use. So he went with that. And then, of course, you start finding some other ones. And, and then I decided, oh, well, look, now I discovered Spyderco. So I go, well, this one, Labrodi, that's a great work knife. Just kind of throw in the pocket and go. And I still do carry this from time to time. It's a... It's a great little tiny blade. So I went with the roadie, and then you start finding other th brands out there. And I started watching different YouTubers from Nick Shabazz to uh, Nothing Fancy to a um, whole bunch of other guys. And, uh, you know, really went down the rabbit hole, I guess. So now I find, you know, Blade HQ, and, you know, oh, now I find out oh, this one's not the greatest. You know, oh, I get a squid from CRKT, and then. You know, I say, okay, I can go a little nicer. I like the size of that. So I went with a Spyderco uh, Dragonfly. And then I finally gave in after this. And, you know, I decided, okay, well, now I'm going to go with a little nicer Spyderco. So I went with a slip joint. And this was the UKPK. And so that became part of my, you know, everyday carries. And. In between, after that, I said, you know, and that's kind of when I pulled off the Band-Aid. I bought it myself, a Spyderco Delica. And unfortunately, I lost the Delica in, uh, in the lake. So the Delica's gone. Um, so I said, oh, okay. Now I'm going to start going back to some other knives. And, you know, you, you, uh, you go back to collecting Swiss Army knives. I got a whole bunch of these uh, different colors. And, you know, of course, you, you have all your little tiny ones. This is one of the first ones I got. The orange kind of spoke to me, and I, you know, a little manager. It's great, but you can get them all in these little fun patterns. This one I got a little, only I think last year. Um, so then I start going, okay, what am I going to do next? I go with a grip. You know, it's just a great classic EDC. And now, you know, I'm starting to spend some more money. And look at more, you know, okay, I can go up the, so I get a pair of three lightweight. You know, now this kind of replaces the Delica I lost. And, you know, it's a, there's another good one. And I said, well, if I have that, I might as well have a regular pair of three. So you have that. And, and, and you start at the bottom and you, and you go to the beginning and then, you know, now we go and get yourself a, mini bug out and then of course because i have the mini i have to have the full size you know this one has the well, this one has the flitanium scales on it um, you know and then okay well then you get the wee banter and you know, keep going and going um especially as these knives start you start getting more here's a you know i go to the i got this one for you know myself for my birthday a couple years ago but I think the knife that really got me to think, okay, well, I can spend more and more and more, was when I got the TRM Neutron. This was a two, you know, first time I actually paid for a real nice premium knife. 
um, you know, hard to get. Now I think they're a little easier to get, but you know, this one made it the easiest for me to say, okay, now I can spend some money. And you know, that's what I started doing. Um, I mean, you always go back to, you know, the uh, more affordable ones, you know, like when the Lander came out, I said, well, I, you know, definitely wanna have a Lander, you know, cause I already have a banter and a baby banter. So now we get a Lander and most recent, couple were you know the sendy which is another nafs knife and then i finally you know get this big idea design titanium you know and you can find them on sale i didn't pull pay full retail for this um you know i got this from i think river's edge cutlery had it on a on a sale for like 200 um at the time so that's when i got that and you know I did the same thing with this Esnix Beer Buster Jr. You know, it's a slip joint, but it's a premium slip joint. And it's just a, a great knife. Again, I got this on a sale from River's Head Cutlery. And, you know, this one replaces, you know, when I got the, the proper, because I said, okay, well, this will be my nicest slip joint. Well, no, this one is. So, I think if you're you're starting out, you can really find a lot of good knives. I mean, this is just a small amount. I mean, I have a lot more, and maybe one of these days I'll make a video of every knife I have in my collection, but I think this is, you know, kind of how the knives went. Um, you know, again, from this Buck Nobleman my brother gave me to this big idea design titanium TI pocket knife. You know, just a big difference. And it doesn't take much to start paying more and, and finding more. And all the brands that are out there, the options are endless now. So there you go. Um, if you want me to make a video, you know, of all my knives, I'm more than happy to do that. Let me know. Again, thanks for watching. You know, give a thumbs up and subscribe.